Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami from Civil Engineers and today in this short video lecture I am gonna talk about 10 points should be remembered civil engineer on site. Every civil engineer should be learned these 10 points which are working on construction site but it's especially for site engineer. Let's start. If this video is helpful for you so must like the video and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates. 10 points should be remember every civil engineer on site. The first point is check the size of bar for slab, beam and column etc. If you are working on construction site, so there in slab, in column, in beam. On construction site, you will check the size of bar. Die of steel bar should be checked with the help of vernier caliper. Is the die of steel according to drawing is ok or not? You should check die of bar for slab, beam and column with according to drawing okay this is the first point now the second point is length of bar for any steel which we use for construction works because we have uh, different uh, cutting length for different structure for beam column and slab so for that you should use the measurement tape to check the length of each bar for different construction structures right on construction site for example if uh, there is a plain beam or column or in slab cutting length okay so there you, you should use the length of each bar which we use in construction works and your project right this is very important now the third point is position of bars means distribution bars are main bars you will check the position of main bars and distribution bars and also its direction now uh, the four point is count numbers of steel bars for example if you are working on construction site and if there is a reinforcement work in rcc slip so there are main bars distribution bars uh, extra bars so you will check uh, their uh, numbers if uh, steel bars uh, uh, according to drawing if there is 29 uh, main bars and uh, 15 distribution bars so you will check its spacing and also its numbers that uh, according to drawing its uh, distribution uh, numbers are okay or not are main bar still okay or not according to drawing you will check the count uh, counts the number of steel bars on construction site also in rcc column in rcc c beam uh, if uh, there is in a drawing eight numbers of steel bars in plain beam so you will check it because there are many labors and they are making a lot of mistakes but you are civil engineer and you should learn about these that you will count the number of steel bars in different structure for beam column and slab or in any other structure right now the fifth point is check lap length of steel lapping length and also development length in rcc beam column and slab you will check it because we have different formulas for lapping length and tension uh, and compression right so for that you will check the uh, lapping length right with the help of measurement tape okay this is the fifth point now we have the sixth point that check the concrete cover for steel reinforcement in column beam and slab you should check according to drawing concrete cover because we have different uh, structure uh, rcc structure so for that we have different concrete cover for different structure so you will check the concrete cover for different steel reinforcement right now the seventh point is spacing of uh, bar for beam column and slab etc uh, I've already discussed that if you are working on construction site, uh, if there is reinforcement details uh, in RCC slip, so you will check the spacing. Spacing for main bars and distribution bars, also you should check uh, spacing in beam and column, okay, because it's very important. Spacing for reinfor uh, reinforcement. Now we have the eighth point, that's direction of bars. Direction of bars. It's position of bars, but this is direction of bars, okay. Now the ninth one is check overall dimension of beam and slab. Now guys the last one is before starting concrete work in beam and column you should check its cover. Cover means concrete cover for that because there are uh, blocks small blocks for uh, a slab and also for the beam so you should check its clear cover then you should start concrete uh, starting concrete work okay so these are some useful points which i have discussed the front of you guys if you have any question about this video so you just comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye